Uh, g'day there, my name's John Murchison, I'm one of the uh, site owners of Aircraft Repaints New Zealand and uh, in this video tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to add uh, repaints into FSX. Uh, so what I've done is I've already downloaded uh, a skin from the Aircraft Repaints New Zealand website. Um, you can see here this is the uh, Sun Air repaint by Garrick Wood for uh, their default Beach Baron 58 aircraft and uh, we'll be using that to work through this process. Um, it's worth noting at this stage that it doesn't matter whether you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista, what we're going to be talking about here applies to both equally the same, uh, so you should have no issues either way. Now when you download uh, these files and unzip them, you'll see various files sitting inside here, so you've got the texture folder, AVSim put in their own information in the .dis file. We've got the image we just looked at there, and of course the all-important README install file uh, that most repaint uh, artists will actually include with their work, so you know how to uh, install them. So we'll open that up, and uh, in this case it'll tell us uh, what the skin is, and also what aircraft it's for. In this case it's the Beach Baron 58 and then we'll have installation instructions. So the first thing we need to do is place the texture.fil folder into the SimObjects Baron 58 folder. Uh, now I always uh, have a shortcut for FSX, it makes this process nice and simple so I can scroll down here to SimObjects and double click that up to Airplanes uh, and then select the Beach Baron 58 Oops, not quite. Yep, there we go this time. And uh, I just need to grab the texture folder, drag it down into my Beach Baron aircraft folder, and uh, that's the texture where it needs to be. Pretty simple and straightforward stuff. So let's go back to the README and uh, check the next step. Now, we need to open the aircraft config file, and we need to copy and paste this information that Garrick's given us. So I'm going to highlight that. This information effectively lets FSX see the new skin and display it. So I'll go up to File and Copy. And now we need to open the Aircraft Config file from this folder. So we'll double click Aircraft. And uh, we need to scroll down and find the last entry for the skins that currently exist. So here it is here. Flight Sim number 5 is the last one before General. So what we need to do is create some space, and I tend to just click in there, hit Enter on the keyboard a couple of times, and uh, that gives me the space. Then I can go up to hit Enter and paste that information in, and you can see it's in there. So that's good. Now we need to change that X to the next consecutive number. So as you can see, 5 is the last number. So we just go down now to the X and highlight that and change that to a 6. It's as simple as that. So now we can go up, save that, and uh, close that off, and the skin is fundamentally installed. It's as simple as that. So what we'll do is uh, we'll check that we've done that. Yep, so we're in business, so we'll close that, close off the folders, and uh, we'll get rid of that one as well, and we'll run FSX. Okay, here we go. So we need to change our aircraft type. So we'll click Change, and uh, go across to Aircraft Manufacturer, and we want to uh, select uh, Beechcraft, and uh, there you can see uh, Garrick skins installed. So we'll just click on that, go down and look at the details and uh, what it will do is it will bring up a 3D uh, rendition of the uh, texture uh, on the aircraft and there you can see FIL, sunny, looking very good in FSX. Now you may notice at times uh, that the registration number is overlaid over the texture. Um, now the reason that happens is because one of the checkboxes down here, show tail number, is ticked. So if we tick that and go back up, uh, you'll see once this wing goes past, you can see how it's just overlaid over the texture and it looks really ugly. So let's just untick that box. 
and once again we'll wait for the wing to come past and now you can see the fuselage is clean Garrick has given us that information absolutely no value in having it on there it just makes it look ugly in most cases so we'll click OK and uh, this will change over and now we're now ready to uh, fly the Beach Baron in FSX hope this video tutorial was of some use and uh, we'll see you next time